Welcome to my channel and many thanks for joining. Today's video is going to feature something a little bit different. This is a shot blasting machine and it turned, well it was a complete disaster. And I want to talk about how I converted a disaster into a success. This was a cheap shot blasting machine, I bought it for my workshop and although it was cheap it just didn't didn't work properly it wasn't good enough for what I wanted so in the end I bought another one and this one was just left on my on my garage floor for a while and it, it was annoying me so in the end I was pig-headed I bought this new one which I can show you now you can see that this is a totally different machine I mean it was obviously quite a lot more expensive than the than the smaller one I've just shown you. Uh, it's a it lifts the the material so it will it will fire a very relatively lightweight abrasive media. It's got a light inside it. It's got a glass screen on the front, and uh, there's an extractor. It's like a turbine, a, a, a um, yeah, a turbine extractor or cyclone as they often call them. You can see inside. Once we open the door, it's got two. It's got a movable pistol, and it's also got a fixed one, so you can put your part wherever you want and manage it how you like. I just wanted to put some context into the into the matter. This is another type of shot blasting machine, which I um, have in an industrial premises, but it's different. This machine has a bowl in the base, and this is pressurized with compressed air. So basically, you have, it's not lifting a media; it's firing a media out with 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 compressed air. So you can use steel shot because in a in a one which is lifting, it won't normally lift by vacuum steel, heavy steel shot. You can see inside there's a table and a handgun. This is another machine, and this machine fires steel shot at the at the pieces you, you you want to clean up, and it works with a conveyor belt system. It lifts the, the, the abrasive media with little buckets and takes it up to the top of the machine. Then it drops down, uh, it drops down into, a, into a spinning turbine. And this turbine fires the steel shot at the components which are tumbling in this, on this belt. There's the turbine, you can see it now. So basically, to try to um, steal a victory from the jaws of failure, I um, decided to make a, a water vapour blaster. I'd seen a few videos on, on YouTube, so I'm just going to run through what I've done. And uh, I haven't used it yet, it hasn't, hasn't been used in anger. I fitted a glass window. And I also fitted these rubber seals, they're all bonded, the glass was bonded into that frame. Not a very complicated thing, but that should that will seal it now. I fitted a, an LED light, which is of course a waterproof one, into the uh, cabinet. And I've also fitted a drain hole. This is basically a bulkhead fitting, so that we can fire water an abrasive mix and uh, it will drain back into the bucket below you can see it's a bulkhead fitting with rubber seals and then just below that there's a plastic fitting which then uh, leads to a 25 millimeter plastic tube I've filled in various holes with plates and bonded them I'm starting here to show you this is basically the compressed air. It will run using compressed air, and I've used bulkhead fittings to uh, to attach it into the cabinet. This is a flexible hose, and you can see I've used um, copper copper tube, a valve, and I've also used a one-way valve of a water a water one-way valve just to ensure that there's no water that's going to go back into the into the compressor or the air system this fits to a, a foot pump so we can operate the, the compressed air with a foot pump 
to fire it into the pistol. I used a regulator with a shut off valve. I'm just showing you where these where these tubes are, are, are connected to. So it leaves the regulator, goes into the uh, foot valve, and then goes back up to the machine and then eventually enters the machine here via this bulkhead and then the compressed air is attached to this part of the of the gun so there you'll be firing your, your compressed air I did buy another nozzle because I thought it might, well, might work better at this angle but in the end I've I've not used it, I haven't fitted it in there. This is the, the entrance into the cabin of the of the water. So you can see bulkhead fittings, copper tubes, plastic um plastic pipe with, with string in it. It's a, it's better that way. A valve and then another piece of plastic tube. This is the bulkhead fitting inside the cabinet, so we can see that, that we've got the, the, the tube fitted to the bulkhead, and that will then connect directly to the, um, to the pistol. Bearing in mind this was a dry uh, shot blasting pistol, and we're just going to see if it works. So now we can see what, what we've done in the bucket. So this is the delivery system for the water. This is a, 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 a submersible pump it's this is a fairly good quality one but it's just because I had it around and uh, you can see we've got two exits one here one which is going to agitate the water and the other one is the exit which takes it into the into the cabinet this is the on off switch simple system to operate the light now we're going to fill up the, or to, sorry, to operate the light and the and the pump and then uh, we're filling it up I've got this running at 8 times speed so that's not going to be too boring once we've uh, filled this up we're going to try the, uh, the pump see if it delivers material we can see that it doesn't but this is probably because there's air in the in the pump this is quite normal so I'm just trying to agitate it to uh, it's, it's, it's basically cavitating at the moment it'll soon start to work I'm sure I think we can see some movement now in the water it's now starting to agitate the water this is to keep the abrasive in suspension when when the, 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 the when the th when the pump is pumping not that it gets clogged up with abrasive, it needs the abrasive suspended in the water. Now we're going to look at the cabinet. We can see we've got water, we've got a flow of water. So but at the moment this is just water, there's no abrasive in there. But there's plenty of water there to, um, to make an effective shot blasting. You can see here this is the um, the regulator valve for the air I'm just going to switch that on and then we can try and see what happens with with um, using some compressed air the idea of the compressed air is to basically to speed up the water it gives it gives it a higher velocity and then you can use the um, the abrasive will impinge the the, the workpiece in, in a more efficient manner. This is the abrasive material. This is glass spheres in 200 to 300 micron which means they're not much thicker than a couple of bits of paper together. Now we're going to fill up. Well you can see the material it's a fairly fine spherical powder and we're going to start adding this into the water and the the, um, the ratios are very very critical no they're not I don't even know how much I'm supposed to be putting in 
I'm just pulling it in until it seems right. Once that's in and filled up, well not filled up, but with, with a certain amount of abrasive, we'll switch it all on and see if it will um, deliver the abrasive and the water together. You can see it's now, the water's agitating that abrasive and it's got it in suspension. Now I've got the gun with the water and uh, plenty of water, it's working well. You can see the colour, that's got the abrasive in it. And uh, I'm just putting some components in now. This is a, a big copper tube, or a piece of a copper tube, and also a piece of brass. So now we can just see that we now no, we add the we add the compressed air to that and then so we're firing a mixture of this um, very fine glass abrasive and water so we're, go we're going to see how the, the the system works how it cleans up the type of finish it leaves this is a this is a piece of brass chunk it's just a bit dirty and corroded uh, I'm sorry you can't see all that well but basically you can get the idea there's a which it works um, it seems to work fairly well and you can see it changing the the surface texture of that piece of brass now I've got a piece of aluminium it's just as it was it's just an aluminium bar so we're, we're we're going to give it a, a bit of a blasting and see how that um, see how that comes out. So what started off as a disaster has turned into something fantastic. I'm really really happy. Look at this um, piece of aluminium. It's super finished, really nice. And uh, now we can see the brass. Really, again, a nice, a nice finish. This is fantastic for cleaning up um, delicate little pieces that need a, a, a good finish. And now we see the copper. How that turned out was nice. It's a, it's a nice, bright finish. It wasn't in very good surface finish to begin with, but it's certainly made it nice and bright. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it.